Hello everyone, Charcoal here, and welcome to another discussion video. This is going to be a pretty silly one, because the Dangerous Gift video took a lot out of me, and I'm in the mood for something more lighthearted. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, Wings of Fire isn't actually my favorite series. My actual number one franchise is Pokémon. Today, my goal is to combine my love for both by assigning Pokémon types to every Wings of Fire tribe. A couple things to note before I start. 1. I will be assigning types based only on physical attributes and powers, not personalities. If I were to do that, we'd be here all day. 2. I am not allowing dragon type at all because, you know, they're all dragons. 3. I will be reserving the flying type exclusively for Skywings, because once again, pretty much all these dragons can fly. 4. Just because a tribe can breathe fire, that doesn't make them a fire type. You'll see examples of this later. And 5. This is, of course, just my interpretation. Feel free to change things up if you have other ideas. Now, let's get started. Starting with Mudwings, these guys are ground and water because of what mud is, basically just dirt and water, and their ability to hold their breath for long periods of time. You might be wondering why a dragon that can breathe fire is a water type, and to that I say, consider Slowro. And of course, I need to add an extra layer of fire resistance for the blood eggs, so Mudwings that hatch from a blood red egg are not ground and water, but instead rock and water. Moving on to Sandwings, this was probably the hardest one to figure out. I always knew I wanted Poison as their secondary typing because of their venomous tails, but for the longest time their primary typing flip-flopped between rock and ground, until I eventually settled on... fire. These guys live in a desert, they're built to withstand extreme heat. That, and they even radiate some heat from their scales along with actually breathing fire. I don't know, I just associate them more with fire than rock or ground. So, fire and poison it is. Next is Skywings. Normal Skywings are pure flying, and fire scales are flying and fire. Pretty straightforward, not much else to say. Sea Wings are water, for the obvious reason, and I decided to add on Fairy as their secondary type because of their glowing patches and night vision. Both are abilities that counteract darkness, and out of all the types that dark is weak to, Fairy made the most sense. Rain Wings were another hard one to figure out, but I eventually decided on Poison and Grass. Poison because of their venom, and grass partly because of their camouflaging abilities, but mostly because, well, they live in the rainforest, surrounded by plants, and they're pretty... in tune with nature, I guess. I get that their venom isn't really a major thing that they use a lot anymore, being pretty laid back and all, but I still made it the primary type instead of grass because it's more a part of them physically. Now Ice Wings. Hmm... Ice Wings. What Pokémon type could Ice Wings possibly be? Yeah, they're pure ice, I shouldn't have to explain this one. Finishing off Pyria, we have Night Wings. They are pure dark, as you probably expected, and any mind readers or future seers are dark and psychic. Time to cross the ocean to Pantala and check out Silk Wings. Normal Silk Wings are pure bug, but Flame Silks are bug and fire. That's pretty much it, I don't know what else to say. Now for Hive Wings. These guys have a lot of powers, from boiling acid to paralyzing stingers, and it varies from dragon to dragon. However, we can lump all these powers together and say that any hive wing with at least one biological weapon is bug and poison. Of course, there is the odd hive wing here and there with no powers to speak of. These dragons are pure bug. And finally, leaf wings. They're pure grass, because what else would they be? You could argue grass poison due to them using poisonous plants as weapons, but I'm gonna say no because one, I don't want them to basically be the same type as rain wings, and two, the poisonous plants are more of an outside force they use to their advantage. It's not a natural part of them. And of course, we have leaf speakers. They are grass and psychic. So now that we have the types for all ten tribes, let's quickly review what all our favorite protagonist types would be. Clay is rock water, Tsunami and Turtle are water fairy, Glory is poison grass, Starflight is pure dark, Moonwatcher is dark psychic, Winter and Snowfall are pure ice, Peril is flying fire, Kibli is fire poison, Blue is bug fire, Cricket is pure bug, and Sundew is grass psychic. Now let's move on to a few special cases. First off, I want to get Animus Magic cleared up. I had originally planned to give it its own type or something, but since it's not really exclusive to any particular tribe, I figured it worked better as a hidden ability instead. Now it's time to decipher a few hybrids. You might have noticed that I didn't include Sunny on the protagonist list, and that's because we're covering her in this section. She's the Sandwing Dragonite of Destiny, so let's start with Fire Poison. No Venomous Barb, so Poison is out. 
and while she is technically a Sand Knight hybrid, I don't think she displays enough Nightwing to justify adding the Dark type. This being a Dark type, nah. Nobody even knew she was a hybrid until Thorn flat out told her. Thus, Sunny is left as a pure Fire type. Now for Darkstalker. He's a similar case to Sunny. Even though he's a 50 50 Night Ice hybrid, he hardly has any Ice Wing on him. Way too little to have the Ice type. And he's a Mind Reader and Seer, so Darkstalker is Dark Psychic. His sister Whiteout, though, is a different story. She displays a lot more Ice Wing traits and colors than her brother, and while she does have weak mind reading and prophecy powers, they're just that weak. Weak enough that instead of making her Dark Psychic, I think I can get away with making her Dark Ice. And now for the final dragon I'll be talking about today, Peacemaker. Like Darkstalker, Peacemaker looks way more Nightwing than anything else. The only change is that the stars on his wings are multicolored now instead of white. That's not enough to give him either Rainwing type, and he doesn't have powers anymore, so that means he is forever stuck as pure dark. Anyway, that's about it. I had a lot of fun figuring these out, and like I said before, this was just my interpretation of it, so feel free to do your own. Actually, you know what? Screw it, let's make this a thing! This is my challenge to you. Make your own take on this concept and share the video with the hashtag PokeWings. I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. That's all for now. Leave a like, check out my Discord server in the description, and subscribe if you haven't already. Holy crap, there's a lot of you now. Huh. Anyway, this has been Wings of Charcoal, and I will see you all in the next video.